This is Muffy, a little Maltese that is at the center of an immigration case. In January, Muffy developed an infection on her leg. They took Muffy to the vet. The dog's owner, Maria Flores, and her husband paid the vet $60 for the visit, but learned it would cost $1,500 to treat Muffy. Unfortunately, they could not pay $1,500, um, so they didn't have the funds to um, do the treatment. Maria hoped Muffy would get better, but she didn't. Nearly a month after first taking her to the vet, Maria took her pet to Dallas Animal Services, hoping they would treat her. They, they actually thought they were doing the right thing by going to Dallas Animal Services. But police say by the time Muffy got here, her leg was so infected it had maggots and had to be amputated. The owners surrendered Muffy because they couldn't pay to have her treated. You know, Maria was crying. She was like, I don't, I don't, I don't want to do that. But she said because she didn't know if Muffy was in pain, she, that was the best decision that they could make. Maria's attorneys say animal services called Dallas police. Months later, in August, they arrested Maria for animal cruelty. And while at the Dallas County Jail, authorities learned Maria was in the country illegally and put her on an immigration hold. She has two U.S. citizen children, um, and she's now been away from her children for weeks and weeks because of this. Um, and this is a person who's never been in trouble. A Dallas County grand jury declined to indict Maria for animal cruelty, but she still faces deportation. Those trying to help her say her case strikes fear in other immigrants. I was in disbelief, but then again, I wasn't with everything going on. Muffy was turned over to the SPCA. The dog has recovered and was adopted out. Meanwhile, Maria's supporters hope she will be released on bond soon, but fear she will be deported away from her loved ones. In Dallas, I'm Rebecca Lopez.